High traders S&P 500 lost 0.9% last week. Continued worried about the trade war with China and Europe drove the market down, but they are likely to be temporary. Market volatility is expected to continue, but the economy is strong and growing and pullbacks continue to present a great buying opportunity. During this week, we will have an update on the first quarter GDP growth on Thursday and May Consumer Spending and Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index on Friday. Let's have a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, I can see that we are still in the pullback area, the same place we've been last week. Technically speaking, the market is continuing to uptrend. Now, when we look at the market and we and we add the fundamental situation, which again is a growing economy, there is no reason to believe that the market should come down. However, uh, the volatility is in place and the trade war may continue and we may have some headlines this week. So everything is possible, but technically speaking, we should go long with the market's direction, unless we have some great short, short opportunities, which I'm soon to be presenting. Uh, let's take a look at my last week picks. <music> My first pick last week was WSM long, it did great over 5%. Uh, last quarter is out due to the fact that it came to the entry point. Uh, first uh, three quarters are out at a 3% uh, profit. My second pick last week was uh, TRIP, TRIP failed. It did trigger, it was very close to my 3% target over 2%, but uh, sadly failed and came down by 3%. I never lose more than 3%. Let's have two picks for this week. <music> My first pick for the week is Kera long over $17.50. Kera is looking great and, uh, and take a good look at the technical formation. The technical formation is uh, a nice bull flag formation. It consolidates near the highs and it looks absolutely amazing if it's going to go through uh, $17.50. Uh, My second pick for the week is a short trade in JP Morgan. Now again, a very, very nice support line at 105. I would like to show JP Morgan under 105. It really looks great. And uh, I, again, I'm not absolutely sure about market direction, but even if the market direction is going to be, uh, if the market is going to move higher, that's a very nice uh, support area. And if it comes down under that 105, it looks great for a short. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free trading challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos, questions or comments, please submit them below.